It's no secret that rates are on the rise. If you're ready to purchase a home or looking to refinance and lock in your rate, now is the time. Hi, this is Michelle Garner, branch manager of the Fairfield Banking Company. We offer a wide variety of products to fit your needs, from little money down to getting a fixed rate. We're here to help you every step of the way so that you can get onto those big decisions, like where to put your sofa. Stop by and discuss your needs with one of our mortgage lenders today. The Fairfield Banking Company, we're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Christy and the girls at Carnaby Square want to wish the mules all the best this year. Located at 115 East Main in Fairfield, Carnaby is your home for famous maker boutique brand clothing and Brighton jewelry and accessories, and is known for its personal service. Check out their Facebook page for Christy's weekly Thursday morning videos featuring all the new deliveries. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday with extended hours till 7 on Thursday. It's the little boutique with the big inventory. Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. You need insurance to help protect the things that mean a lot to you. You need coverage that's affordable because we all have a budget. I'm Christina Copeland and at Country Financial we get it. For close to 100 years, we've offered insurance and financial services to help protect what's most important to you and help you prepare for the future. Best of all, we aim to get to know you and find solutions for your budget. In other words, we've got your back. I'm Country Financial Rep, Christina Copeland. Call me at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs today. Welcome back here to the Mule Barn. Derek Dunbob is alongside Grady Simpson on camera. And I uh, want to talk about more about Fairfield for a moment. Some interesting stats here for the Lady Mules. Fairfield has won 49 sets this season. Only lost seven sets. And uh, also I do have uh, some stats here for you regarding the Lady Mules. Uh, some interesting stats of note here. Emerson Robbins, this is the latest here, 367 kills. Mabry Ellis, 323 receptions. Riley Edwards, 307 assists. Ava Best, 248. Mabry with 309 digs. Riley with 202. Emerson, by the way, not that far behind, 171. Riley leading in serving aces, 29. Digs per set, Mabry, 6.2. Total blocks, Kenzie Turner 43, Riley with 31. Hitting percentage, Emerson with 40%. And Emerson is averaging 7.3 kills a set. So uh, some stats right there for you pertaining to the Lady Mules. As I mentioned here, we are coming down the home stretch of the regular season. Bob and I, we were talking about this earlier. It doesn't seem like it. But Lady Mules are on the road tomorrow at to El Dorado. Then they host Carmi Thursday after defeating Carmi in three sets not too long ago. And then they take on a tough NCOE squad on Tuesday, October the 17th. And Bob, it's just like we're coming down the home stretch of the regular season and postseason not that far away. Yeah, the season's definitely going by really quickly. Got a lot of games going on here, so it's pretty, pretty exciting weeks ahead of us here. By the way, in case you have not heard, Lady Mules will be at Hamilton County in the regional. They are the number one seed. They will take on either, uh, let me see here by my count here, because I just happen to have it up here, but uh, just came out late last week, actually. Uh, but they'll be uh, playing here. Let me see, I just happen to have it. There it is. They'll be taking on, I want to make sure I have this right, either Teutopolis or Flora. Well, we've seen Flora already play this year. T-Town is always more than likely probably will be T-Town, but you never know. And then Hamilton County and Mount Carmel will be taking on each other. Fairfield will take on the winner of T-Town and Flora on Tuesday, October 24th at 6 p.m. That'll be the first game of the